their discussion. You can't ask for anything better than that. I mean, let's face it, he had the shoulder operation or whatever he had done to it. He wasn't ready in training camp. And when Warman goes out in the opening game and does what he does last week in the last minute of play and scores, how could you sit him on the bench? You just can't do it. You destroy him as a quarterback. He, it's, he has won the job, and if he continues to play like that, Johnson could sit over there. But if he accepts his role, as Bob Espaziani said, then it's a good team guy and you got something going. Johnson, the all-star quarterback last year, a product of Southern Illinois. He set a club record, 302 completions, 604 attempts. But he had that orth orthoscopic surgery during the offseason, and that affected his throwing ability at training camp. First and 10 from the 14. They try to get to the outside with Gary Allen, but early indications are that this Edmonton Eskimo defensive unit is going to be extremely tough to run against. Stopped by Tom Tuine and Stuart Hill. They're awful tough. You know, that play takes a long time to develop. It's coming back into the short side. Parker told us before the game, Calgary would try to run to the weak side. That means the short side of the field. They tried it. Edmonton was ready. Second and 10. Allen may have actually picked up about half a yard, but for all intents and purposes, it's second and 10. To the sidelines for a first down, and that's Tony Woodruff's first reception of the ball game. And the Calgary Stampeders retain possession with a first down, forced out of bounds by Stanley Blair. He got some pressure on him that time, but he threw the ball early. He threw it before Woodruff made his break. And if you'll deliver the ball on time, that kind of pattern is very hard for anybody to stop. And in this case, it'd be Stanley Blair, who's a rookie that the Eskimos are high on. You look for him to be tested. Woodruff played five games with the Stamps during the 86 season. They try to come to the short side again with Gary Allen. He cuts it back inside and has a nice gain of about six, maybe seven yards. Don, on the last time they ran the sweep, they had it off of a handoff with the, the back on the other side. And that we said it takes a long time. This time they line up in an eye and just toss it to him, and he's already out there. So he made the yard before the Eskimo defense could adjust. Well, we hope you're enjoying the action tonight from Commonwealth Stadium in Edmonton, and we hope that you'll be a regular on Saturday night on CBC. All games starting at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. A uniform starting time for all telecasts on CBC on Saturday night, regardless of where you live. Over the middle to Gary Allen, and that's another first down. The ball spotted at the 42-yard line. Bruce Green came in to make the tackle. Second down and three. A lot of teams think run. Second and three. Warman just drops back, lets the linebackers get deep, and then just dumps it underneath to the back. Gets four yards, but that's all he wanted. Second year head coach of the Calgary Stampeders, Bob Vespasiani. One game already under his belt and another coming up on Wednesday against BC. Woodruff is open. He could go. Touchdown. Tony Woodruff got that step behind the defender along the